All right, today we're gonna to be looking at carbon filtering. Okay, why would you carbon filter? So let's just say if you have these little guys hanging out on your wires, it's probably a good idea to carbon filter. Okay, these guys form as impurities in your tank, and these are usually hanging out on your wires. And one of the ways you can carbon filter is you can carbon filter using activated carbon and that's a good way to do it all you would have to do is you get a funnel here is a distilled water jug and then you would put a coffee filter and put that carbon in the coffee filter and then run your solution through it I'm going to show you a different way to do this so this is a whole house filter. You can get these at any hardware store. This is a carbon filter, five micron. And it has a hole on the bottom, okay? So all you do is have to find a plastic shot glass, or it could be a glass shot glass, okay? And we just need something to cover this hole. All right, so what am I going to attach this? How am I gonna attach this? Well, very easy, I'll show you in the next step. So, first off, find one of these, okay? And we can use this over and over and again, many times. So we're gonna store it away for when we need it. And then I need a shot glass. That's either glass or plastic. I'm also gonna need a hot milk glue gun. And I just happen to have this. So warm that up also. And once it's warmed up and you have all your supplies, one of these, one of those, and a large vessel, okay? Doesn't matter what you use, it's just gotta have this that sets into it, okay? So whatever this sets into, whether it be a milk jug that's cut the top off or Whatever amount of liquid that you are filtering, it needs to be double that. So, in this case, I need that much of a volume. Alright, so there's the things that you need. Go shopping. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to glue this to here. What I like to do is just well, first make sure that I can see going in here. Do the first person camera view here. I'll put a whole crap load of glue on this until it looks like it's running off. Turn it upside down and plop it on my filter and then turn that right side up and then let that set up nice and neat cool so it should look like that now if a hole develops because it is plastic just wait till this dries and then fill in that hole too and then you know make a nice bead going around it, but do it in stages. Wait for this one to dry before you go all the way around it, and then put some in the center. This should be enough to hold it in place and block all water from going out that hole, because we're gonna pour the liquid into this hole, and then it's going to filter out into the container. Okay, so we have to let that dry. So I opted out for the shot, plastic shot glass to this jar that fit perfectly on there. So it's all glued into place. And it's a little bit more sturdy and it's weighted and stands up a little bit more secure. So there we go. Still might run a little bead going all the way around just in case. 
Okay, so option one, you could pour this into that hole and then it would leak into the vessel. Option two, you can put a vinyl tube, attach that to the side of the vessel and use a turkey ejector. Go like that to the liquid. Take your vessel, put it down to start the siphon. Now put this hose all the way down in there. And just like that, you can now go do something else as your solution starts to carbon filter. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. If you ever carbon filtered anything, you know that like the, the other option really does suck. And that's the coffee filter, liquid over the coffee filter. And usually you have to filter it twice. With this, you do not have to do that. You just let it do its thing and come back. It'll, it'll get to about right here and then it'll slowly go down. Just make sure the diameter of this is pretty small. Don't get a really big one of these. So it's been from here to here already. It looks like one inch of liquid has already managed to siphon through that. We'll come back when it's done. Before this gets done, I wanted to show you the clarity of this liquid. See how like murky it is? You can barely see that pill. There's a pill in there. One of those magnetic stirrers. You can't see it. And then look at the liquid coming off of this. It's beautiful. All right, it's been probably about 15 minutes and it's still working. Just wanted to share with you. At some point, it's going to lose its siphon, but um, still going strong. It'll even go past this. So in other words, that is right here as far as the tube is concerned, but it'll keep pouring in water even though it's past the hose. All right, so there we go. It's all carbon filtered out. Um, pour this, pull this out now. You could let it drain all the way. It's only got like maybe a half inch of blue liquid in there, but. Or you could put this in your other tank and let it drain out and then just pour the remainder back in. It's up to you. But look how beautiful that liquid is. Oh man, it's so beautiful. Make sure that you put that in here with storage somewhere. Uh, the crystals will dry in it, but once you add liquid to it again, it will melt the crystals and then work again. So you can use that filter, oh, probably about 50 to 60 times with this volume of liquid. Keep in mind that's made for doing a whole house. Okay, yeah. well, you can see right to the bottom, cool stuff. Uh, one of the things that you should do after taking and making or doing a carbon filter is make sure that you check the acidity level of your solution because it could have dropped a little bit. So I'm gonna take a pH meter to it and check the results. Should be about 1.5 to two.